this is an opportunity for us uh, to continue to get better as a team and get over the hump. We've been so close in these games. There's been a lot of emotion. There's been a lot of frustration. There's been a lot of growth uh, of a team getting better. You feel the progress, but you also feel the pain uh, of not being able to, to get over with the hump of learning how to win. Um, so now on the road is sometimes the best opportunities uh, to come together, get connected, um, you know, play uh, for a purpose and, and spark your season. to work for the Heat game two of their six game road trip. Less than 24 hours after a loss in Phoenix, the Heat looked to bounce back against another Western Conference team. It's Miami Heat visiting the Sacramento Kings right here on Fox Sports Sun. And we get to see the Dragon tonight after his big performance last night. John, you're gonna obviously highlight what he did in that game. Meanwhile, how about Willie Reed? Taking over Hassan Whiteside in 22 and 18 in that game last He's night. He's got a, a big matchup tonight against Big Demarcus Cousins. It is time for your starting lineups here in Sacramento, California. For the Kings, it's Collison, Floor, Kubas, Cousins, and Barnes for your Miami Heat. How about the Dragon back on the floor again with Jay Rich, Willie Reed, Luke Babbitt? Marcus Cousins and the Sacramento Kings taking on a banged up Miami Heat squad. They've lost six in a row, have the Heat, but they come out swinging. Wayne Ellington hitting a three pointer. The Heat, eight of 15 from three in the first half. Ellington, four of four in that stretch, and they're up by 10. Aaron Aflalo, though, keeping it close. Ty Lawson finds him, and he hits the three pointer. It's a two point game, but Miami staying hot from distance. Ty Lawson. Turns the ball over, James Johnson finds Tyler Johnson, who came off the bench and played wonderfully, knocking down a three here, 54-45, and Miami led this thing by five at the break. Miami coasting through the third quarter, Goran Dragic, Luke Babbitt for the three-pointer. Everybody's hitting threes for Miami. And James Johnson to Goran Dragic, who has a novelty idea. Just go inside, yeah, knock down a layup. It is a novel idea, laying that one in. In the fourth quarter, Sacramento goes on a 19 to nothing run to tie the game. Anthony Tolliver to Garrett Temple for the jam. And Costa Kufa's passing to Garrett Temple. Temple drives and hits the pull-up jumper, doing good work for the Sacramento Kings. He had 15 points on the game. Marcus Cousins now working in the pick and roll, drives and gets the layup. You know, he brought it. Marcus Cousins finished with 13.6 rebounds. Really not his normal game, though. Rodney Magruder finding James Johnson in the corner 4-3. Miami up 102 to 97. Then Tyler Johnson gets going. Goran Dragic turns the ball over. Darren Collison starts, turns the ball over. Darren Collison starts the fast break. Tyler Johnson trails and watch Tyler Johnson trail effectively. Swatting that one. You're gonna have to see this one one more time. Going up and stuffing. Darren Collison right there. That's nicely done. We're tied at 1-2. Then he goes ISO, gets the and one basket. How about this? 23 points off the bench. Miami skit. How about this? 23 points off the bench. Miami up by three. 18.8 seconds left. Kings looking to tie. Matt Barnes finds for Marcus Cousins for the three. The shot misses in the heat. Come into Sacramento and get a win. Final score, 107 to 102. And having the ability to knock down these shots. I thought their spacing was excellent. Look how far apart they are from each other here. And they really move the ball well. And, and this team, Sacramento, has a reputation, and the numbers prove it, to be one of the poor coverage uh, defenses out on the three-point line. They were late getting to our shooters, and our shooters made them pay. Great job by Miami. 12 of 28, that's just about 43% beyond the arc. Uh, great shooting and, and really stretch the yeah. floor for Miami. Look at Dragic's game tonight. John, you said midway through the fourth, man, you just you don't even notice him sometimes, and quietly he's up there as one of the leading scorers. Yeah, 19 points yet again. 
Very solid floor game with uh, seven assists to lead the team. A couple of turnovers, but really did a good job making some big buckets for the team and, and just getting everyone organized, finding a way to contribute again in the scoring column. And they need scoring right now, Miami does. So they need him to look in that point guard spot uh, to be selfish at times, to make plays and make shots. And he did that uh, 5 of 12 from the field. But how about getting to the free throw line, yeah. 9 for 9, uh, which was really high percentage, good good uh, attacking of the rim and drawing foul. Productive 61 points is incredible of the total 107. That's an amazing bench job and a lot of it was the excellent shooting here by Wayne Ellington. Look at him with the catch and shoot game. They give him too much air space and he'll just drill it right in your face. And then Johnson and Johnson right here. Tyler knocking down one of his three balls. Uh, and look at the defensive effort here by James and then leading Tyler out on the break where he's able to use his speed to finish at the rim. A great job. And, and James Johnson, who was just outstanding doing so many other things other than scoring. He had 13 points, but he also had, he had 14 points. He had six boards and six assists. Second only to Dragic. So, and that shot right there by by hey, give him a Donald. smile, Tyler. Give him a smile. That's straight persistence <laughs> and perseverance right there by Tyler Johnson. All right, let's go back to the last shot that went in for you. A couple of dribbles behind the back. They look like they might get away. You get it. I'm not even sure. I need a compass or a protractor to get the angle that you got with that left-hand flip to get it in. Uh, yeah. Uh, I thought I had him both times, and then I, I went to go to the hoop, and the ball wasn't there. Um, fortunate enough to... Um, to put that one up and in, but it was a great job from our guys making winning plays down the stretch. Um, not getting down on ourselves for, uh, um, you know, we're up big, not getting down on ourselves and finishing out the game. Talk about your guys, your cousins committee that you guys had out there to keep one of the best scores of this game under 20 points for the first time. I think I counted 10 games in that stretch. He had his double nickel game. How great was the work that you guys did team defensively against DeMarcus Cousins? I mean, it was definitely a... Uh, um, you know, a, a team uh, a job on DeMarcus, but at the same time, UD came in, uh, Willie, Willie started, but UD came in and played big minutes. And I mean, for a guy who hasn't played a lot this season to, to go in there and battle one of the best centers in the league, probably, uh, you know, in my opinion, the best center in the league, um, that's huge. With the way that you guys have been in games, coming up on the short end, how good does it feel to get in that position just simply winning a contest, home road indifferent, but just putting together those winning plays that Coach Bolstra talks about so much. Yeah, um, we had to find a way to get this one done. I thought we uh, we were rolling there in the first half and even early in the third, I thought we were rolling. Um, they're a good team, they're gonna come back, but um, like I said, for uh, this young group of guys to uh, go through adversity and as many close games as we, have, as we have been in and then come on the short end, uh, it's good to get this one. Congratulations. Thanks for the time. I appreciate you big time. I'm not even sure what that was about. What? Just firing at Gorin with one more assist. Joy abounds from the Miami Heat as they win on the road 107-102. You saw it. Reed called it. Tyler talked about it. That ball is all over the place. And then finds its way in the bucket. Stay right there. Heat victorious. It's tough because you want to see him continue to grow uh, year by year, but you know just didn't get as much opportunity this year due to the injuries to really play. Well, the Heat played hard tonight, and they win 107-102 the final. You can watch tonight's game again tomorrow at noon. Replay tonight's action presented by your South Florida Honda dealers. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports on your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball for John, Jax, Eric, the coach, Tony Fiorentino. I'm Will Menzo saying thanks for watching now the final take. Say that you a baller. You lame, can't play this game. Step up to the plate, cause you say that you a baller. At the top, this is how I rock, and I won't be stopped for you. Say that you a baller. You lame, can't play this game. Step up. In the final hour up on Lawrence Hill, I will devour your spoken skills since my power just destroys the will. I'm fed up, so what's the definition? Sick and tired of the opposition's repetition. My repertoire about a dozen steps ahead of y'all. Walking on eggshells, barefoot, trying to reach my reservoir. Stole my style, need to pay me back. Crazy brainiac, made me turn into an animaniac. 
say that you a baller. You lame, can't play this game. Step up. Say that you a baller.